certified by weather rate not spills most accurate forecast this is your forecast first from the wate six and your side storm team sponsored by knoxville wholesale furniture the furniture you want Hey everybody, I'm meteorologist Ken Weather. Starting to cool off, but not as quickly because we've got some high thin clouds overhead. We are at 50 degrees though right now in Knoxville, 51 in Maryville, cooling down to 42 though in Middlesbrough. So by tomorrow morning, low to mid 40s, a pretty good bet for everyone. But these clouds get thicker and we'll see some scattered rain chances. More on the timing of that coming up. Serving the people of East Tennessee, WATE 6 on your side news at 11 starts now. Auburn sports anchor Jordan Kramer joins us with highlights plus. I'm thankful to be alive, you know, because it the bullet missed my head by a little bit. A suspect reportedly fires into homes and cars in Powell today. Tonight, investigators identify him and a community holds a benefit for an injured Cumberland County deputy. We are hearing from his grateful family right now at 11. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Elizabeth Kubel. We begin tonight with breaking news. We now know the identity of the suspect in a Knox County officer involved shooting. The TBI identifying him as 28 year old Skylar Charles Anthony Petrancosta. We're told he is still in the hospital. Investigators say he was shot by a deputy in Powell this morning, refusing to drop his weapon after reportedly firing shots at cars and into homes. The TBI continues to take the lead on this investigation as those who were nearly caught in the suspect's crossfire speak out. The bullet hit right here and it penetrated through there. Alan Bird walks us through.